the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Technology within the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment at the University of Johannesburg is presenting their fourth annual Project Day. This project day has participation from the undergraduate students, particularly final year undergrad students and postgraduate students, particularly honors students that are presenting uh, their project. So let's go inside and have a look at what the students, what interesting innovations the students have been working on. All right, everybody, so I have with me uh, Prof. Shongwe. Prof. Shongwe is the current head of school of the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, um, but also he's the incoming vice dean for research, innovation, and postgraduate studies. Prof. Shongwe, it's really good to see you here. Yeah. Thank you, Precious. Uh, it's good to see you too. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, people in your portfolio or at your level, they don't really get time to engage um, at this level. So it's really good for you to be on the ground, to come and see what the students are up to. And so what are you mostly looking forward to? I'm here just to see how the projects are going. Yeah, I'm also looking forward to high level projects, uh, projects that are going to blow my mind off. But uh, I already have a feeling that they are very good projects. I also have got students that I supervise and are doing very well. Thank you. <laughs> the Department of Electrical Engineering Technology is having what we usually call Project Day. Now, in the Project Day, we have, we have the third year students and the fourth year students demonstrating their projects. And, and these projects are of, you know, various nature. But this is actually another dimension that has been introduced to the new curriculum, which we call the BNG Tech. Because in the old programs, students didn't have to, you know, to, to, to incorporate this, uh, you know, the, the, for, for instance, the, of the 4IR technologies. Those were not there in the kind of project that we used to do. But now you could see that uh, in the BNG Tech, the BNG Tech, if, if, if I were to give you like, a brief definition of what the BNG Tech is. This is a general degree which is not really specialized. So the students uh, know a bit of everything and, and that is why you could actually see that uh, the application of this project incorporates a bit of every aspect of electrical engineering. So that is the difference compared to the old national diploma in the BTEC we students were very, very specialized in terms of power, electronic, uh, uh, instrumentation. But here you have a guy who is uh, aspiring to get a degree in electrical engineering with all this knowledge uh, nicely integrated. This is a process. This is, this is just one day out of a process that takes many months. And uh, throughout the process, we have the assessment of graduate attributes that, uh, that, that takes place. And you will recall that this is basically what we call a capstone project, where most of our GAs are being assessed. Uh, so with that comes a requirement of what type of project that we would like our students to do. Because you can't just do any, any type of uh, what we used to call in the past, uh, you know, paper project. You can't just do we, we want something that looks like an artifact where a student will be able to identify a problem, you know, from, from his environment, from, from uh, wherever he comes from, and provide an adequate solution by integrating engineering knowledge. Uh, you could see uh, projects, you know, range from, uh, you know, 
uh, house intrusion uh, detection. Uh, th th these are really, you know, uh, usual issues that we have in our society where these, these young, you know, women and men are trying to provide solutions to problems that we have in our communities. And I think that's what engineering is all about, trying to provide, you know, solutions to problems that emanate from, uh, from our environment. Uh, of course, we'll have to remember CBI. CBI has come, you know, to support us on this particular day. And, and uh, Umu Africa sends two delegates to come here and, and, and serve as external examiners. And many other companies, and, and we're expecting ABB to be here. There are many people here, external examiners from, from different companies, which, you know, uh, to, to whom we, we're very, very grateful because they always uh, support us. And what I would like to, to, to tell you is, some of the, the, the equipment or the components students get to use are not necessarily bought by the department. Some of these components are donated by these companies. And, and we're very, very grateful for, for these kind of things. And you could see the, the, the spirit of competition that, is, that, that exists among these students because, you know, they know we've been doing these things for the past four years. I think. This is, to be quite precise, this is the four times that we're having project day in the department. And, and uh, there are a number of prizes to be, to be, you know, up for grab. You know, it's like the, the most 4IR oriented project is there. Uh, the, the, you know, the most, the, the, there are quite a number of, there is quite a number of rubrics that are there for this particular project. And uh, these students, they know, they know that. And that's why you can see that they're competing towards winning them. It's, it's, these are incentives that we, we've come up with uh, just to try and motivate these, uh, these youngsters. And uh, it has been working so well in the past because they all work towards this day. So the first category, uh, which is then the most, most for IR product, project, that goes to number 102. <laughs> All right, I'm so excited right now because I have a woman who has just won an award for most 4IR oriented project. Wow, congratulations. How do you feel about that? Thank you so much. I feel so overwhelmed. I'm so excited. I really don't know what to say, but I can really say my hard work paid, really. The sleepless nights, they paid off. That's all I could say. Congratulations. Hard work does, does really pay off indeed. So what was your project about? So it's a smart insect control system. So basically it has a camera, an ESP32 cam, a burning laser, and a, a pair of servo motors that allows it to move around. So I, t I attach the camera to, this, uh, to the laser, so at a certain angle, so that when the camera detects an insect, the laser can shoot at it. Okay, another, another tough decision was for place number two, category number two which is the most uh, patentable project and this goes to number 54, 54. Wow, congratulations to you. I mean, little did we know earlier on when you were presenting your, your project that we would be standing here again to congratulate you. So congratulations, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, I'm out of words, but it's, I'm really happy and it's an honor to be uh, recognized for coming up with uh, one of the most innovative project and I'm still looking forward to coming up with great ideas and solve issues that we are facing in our countries. 
Yes, and may you get big monies for all those uh, innovative ideas that you are yet to think of. Congratulations once again. Thank you again. Okay, so the first category, this is the one that you guys had to work on. Some of you did it in the last week. And this is for best exhibition. Right. So for, for the undergrads, this goes to number 93. 93. So earlier on I was speaking to you about your interesting project and now I'm standing again with you to congratulate you. How do you feel? Um, it feels um, amazing and thank you for the congratulations. I was not expecting this so yeah, I feel excited. What's your, what, what award did you win? I won a um, best presentation exhibition. So I'm excited because this signals new beginnings for me. I mean, like this is like the final day for us electrical engineering students, and I'm looking forward to what's next, honors or the workplace. Yeah, I'm excited. Right. So this year again, there's another surprise. The ladies has done it all. Number 18 for overall winner. Another exciting moment as I stand with a woman in engineering who has won not just any award, but the overall award or overall winner for the undergraduate best project. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And how do you feel? Um, I'm actually quite shocked. I didn't believe that I could make it, but here we are. Oh. <laughs> you didn't believe you could make it with such a brilliant project? I didn't. I actually didn't see it coming. I didn't at all. Okay, so what's next? Um, I'm hoping that I can um, scale it up and then introduce it to industry and you know, yeah. Okay, I hope you get the best mentors in place so that you get your wish and your desire in place. Congratulations and all the best. The prize for the most 4IR oriented project goes to Project XK. Wow, congratulations, gentlemen. So I didn't manage to see your project earlier on in the day. Uh, for my interest sake, what was your project about? What did you guys just win and what, what, what was your project about? Uh, it's a common chronic diseases smart checker. What it does, it checks for common chronic diseases like uh, your hypertension, your uh, diabetes mellitus and your pulse rate. So what it does, what, what we can do, it's like it can be used in like uh, hospitals, even for, for your personal use, if you want your, your doctor to monitor your vitals wirelessly. wirelessly. Okay, and I see that you guys want most 4IR oriented. So can you tell us what was the 4IR aspect of the project? Uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak in front. Uh, so the foot uh, uh, orientated project was based on uh, the IoT, which is called the Internet of Things, which was using the ThingSpeak to actually be able to monitor the patient's health as uh, the, uh, my partner mentioned now, that uh, we actually be able to monitor the pulse of uh, the doctor can be able to monitor the health of a patient from wherever they are so that they can be able to help and assist them to uh, stay healthy and always good to go. Impressive. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you. Right. The second prize category is most innovative project and potentially patentable. This goes to project number Q. Look at the camera.
Category number three for the best exhibition, the best presentation. This goes to Project N. All right, I have another winner in the category of best exhibition presentation. Can you tell our viewers what is it that you exhibited? I was exhibiting an alternative method to our metering systems that I can use to, instead of implementing a new digital meter, this, this, meter, this system can be implemented onto the existing analog meters and then you can extract readings and we can plot the data. Wow, I hope City of Johannesburg is watching. <laughs> Because these are developments that can be used by municipalities, correct? Yes, I plan to patent this uh, project for future use. Yes. Impressive. And how do you feel about winning? Uh, I feel very excited. I didn't expect this though. It's, it's a very good feeling. Yes. Well done. Much deserved. Thank you very much. All right. Drum roll. Here we go. Thank you. The, the overall winner for 2022 for the Honours Project goes to Project T. Okay, I'm standing with the overall winner for the 2022 Project Day. And on top of that, he's a two-time winner. That's correct. Two, last year he took an award and this year he came back for another one. How does that feel? Uh, it feels good. I mean, winning is always good, but uh, I think more importantly, I think it's just the fact that I was able to, I think is most important. Yeah. All right, so congratulations. I'm, I'm proud of you. I just want tips because I know you're in your honors year and next year you'll be doing masters, right? Yes, that's correct. So what tips would you like? I want some tips for the students that are coming up in the uh, next year in the competition. Like, what is it, what does it take to be a winner, to, to, to develop a, a winning project? Uh, a lot of hard work um, and a lot of expanded learning. Um, you need to be able to look past what you learn in class and actually do your own research. Um, to actually present something that's a little bit above what everyone else does, you need to have more knowledge than what you gain in class. So hard work and extra research is my advice. Yeah. That is a profound advice. Thank you so much and all the best with your masters. Yes, thank you. And uh, I'll hope to see you around. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> all right, so it's post event and I'm standing with one of the judges. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers and tell them what it is that you do? Well, my name is Mwana Tuman Roni Maisela. I work at Uma Africa Gaming Technologies. We're based in Limbro Business Park and we work in the gambling industry. My role there is a technical manager. I lead the Will students and the technical team. Thank you. Wow, what a vast portfolio, I must say. So as an external moderator, what is it that impressed you the most about the students' projects? Besides that, I'm visiting my old university and see my old lecturers and to see what new students' innovation is is Project Day is always one of the things that I'm looking for each year. Because that's where you see the best of engineering innovation and trajectory that the students are taking towards developing systems that can solve this country's problems and the world's problems. Precisely, I love what you said. The best and most innovative engineering projects were presented today by our students and I was also most particularly impressed. I was not expecting it at all. So which one in particular do you remember that blew your mind away? Well, there'll be a couple of those. I'm more interested in the project that is implementable. The project that can be taken forward, can be implemented, can be actualized from the planning phase or conceptual phase, it can be developed and be used in the industry 
or in communities. So there were a couple of those, more especially more students were relating their projects in terms of medical field, solving problems in that area. And we know that that's where the trajectory of the world is going, where they're using smart internet of things to solve current problems. So those kind of pro projects were one of those that I was more blown away to steal your ways. All right, thank you so much. All right, I have another one of our external moderators, adjudicators, uh, also alumni from the Rand Africans uh, uh, University Times, and now as a merger, the University of Johannesburg, and he's still standing with us. It's it's so um, satisfying to be standing with an alumni who's because it's also a form of mentorship, a form of giving back to your alma mater. So, what keeps you coming back? What I saw today is what keeps me coming back, I must tell you that. I was blown away to see what's being done here. Uh, if I take the background where I come from, not only in years, but also in education, which was pretty formal and um, clinical, if I can put it that way. And engineering is one of those disciplines that really you cannot get in touch with reality soon enough and to watch what's being done here is so rewarding and I just see a bright future for all of us. There are some brilliant kids here and what really impressed me is the um, two or three projects that I had a look at where the essence of engineering became a reality for me because of understanding local problems, problems that we have, uh, such as crowded hospitals, and finding solutions for something that nobody else in the world would be thinking about. And the creative way of approaching it is just fantastic. I had a wonderful morning. Yes, most certainly. I, for one, um, managed to also see a number of the projects. And uh, with a number of them, I heard them uh, referencing COVID, you know, COVID-19, because of COVID-19, this. So in as much as it was a, a global pandemic, we, we, we see that it inspired in the now generation of engineers, innovative ideas, and, you know, it sparked some, some, some interesting um, developments within our students. Um, which organization were you representing? today? I am actually a freelancing engineer. I'm a consultant. Uh, my speciality is uh, energy conversion. So today in the world of renewable energy and on the other end of the, the spectrum, pumping water, that's what I've done my whole life. Uh, but at this point in time, I consult. But I must tell you that I just would like to give back more to what is going on here. It's, it's wonderful. All right, I'm standing with one of the sponsors for the 2022 Project Day presented by our Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Technology. Stan, hello. Hello there, precious. Pleased to meet you. And thank you to UJ and the Technology Department for including us on this absolute fantastic day. Yes, and thank you also. We appreciate the sponsorship in kind. You know, one of the uh, values of our institution out of the four, it's re re regeneration, ethical foundation, imagination. And I today I saw the students really um, using their imagination on another level. I could not even e comprehend. I, I was amazed at the outputs that the the students did uh, with their projects. I just want to find out from you which which projects stood out for you today. Well, all of them did extremely well. You know, we must understand that not a lot of students are exposed to different environments around the world, and and well, that is one of the conditions you could look at first. But we had the privilege today of going around and seeing some brilliant work, some absolutely out the box thinking, youngsters that were developing the future, youngsters that were creating environments and looking at existing products or projects or solutions and actually adding value to that even beyond that. So we, we have found, and especially in the electrical industry, you know, we've been manufacturing over 80 years. So we're the granddads in the electrical industry and today we learned some new smarts from some of these youngsters. So with us evolving and doing new technologies and everything else, 
We loved spending time with them today. We loved the projects in behind. And I look at some of the projects, I'm going to mention one young lady, um, and it's not even the electrical industry, but she has a gas canister analyzer that measures she was one of your winners, um, if I'm right. Um, she's developed this gas canister with a platform with anti-flame, it uh, does gas analytics, air analytics, it's got switch off valves, everything else like that. And now that is phenomenal. I mean, households, everybody has a gas canister, everybody is running on gas. And this young lady with her expertise has now almost solved the problem for safety, conditional environments, everything else. So that was one of the things. Um, some of the other things were some specialised where in the metering industry thinking beyond. But all in all, every single environment right up to your top class engineers doing plant, plant process control right across. Very, very well done and I must put forward that I think they've been guided by some extremely clever either lecturers or facilitators taking them on this journey of excellence. So we as CBI, we're extremely privileged to see and participate today. And it's an open ticket that we would love to continue this relationship. And you can count us back in again. Um, every one of us that was here today, my colleagues, Skal Kabola and Ben Liebenberg with me as well, we were given a nice eye opener to the future generation of engineers, which was absolutely brilliant. Wow, thank you so much for that profound uh, presentation. And we look forward to seeing you in the 2023 Project Day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the 2022 Project Day. I must congratulate all the winners for those innovative projects. Projects that are incorporating 4IR technologies such as IoT, artificial intelligence, 3D printing and the like. I must say our students were very innovative. Ladies and gentlemen, until we meet again for the 2023 Project Day, God bless.